Beautiful day to learn in school. And what are you learning today? Ah, the basic emotions. Pops, shall we go over them again? Joyful, when a big smile is drawn on our faces. <laughs> Sad, if we can't help crying. Fearful, when we open our eyes and mouth wide. Scared. <laughs> Angry, if we frown and pout. <laughs> Thanks, Pops. Children, did you learn them? Very, very well. Great, then. The task for tomorrow is to bring a picture of every emotion learned today. Joyful, sad, fearful, and angry. The garden is a good place to take pictures, don't you think, kids? Great choice, Phoebe. The photo will have a beautiful background. Hey, Groovy, you are finally going to fulfill your dream of being a model. Pose for us. <laughs> All right. Now pretend you're super happy. Hey, you don't look really happy. Let's try better with sadness. Come on, Groovy. It's going to be more difficult than I thought. Pops has an idea to make the photos work. <laughs> Provoke Groovy's emotions. But shh, it's better that Groovy doesn't know. What a scary pose, Groovy. Perfect picture. You already have one emotion, fear. Let's continue with the next one. Hmm. That broccoli looks great. How happy Groovy is. Oh no, it wasn't for you, Groovy. You're so sad. Great, two emotions and one to go. 
joy, and sadness. We only have one left to complete the album. Oh no, the camera is broken! There is the missing emotion, anger. What a pity that we can't take a picture of Phoebe, but... What about a drawing? Yes, you can draw anger in the album directly. What's the matter? Don't you have something to draw with? I see. Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to draw on the album? A pearl necklace? A marker? Or a rugby ball? Yes, into a marker. Great. It's fantastic, Phoebe. The album is full. Homework done. You can play now. Oh, an A+. Plus. That's really something to be cheerful about, kids. Let's see those smiles. Cheer up, Groovy. You'll end up doing it well. What a beautiful day to play with all these toys. Groovy, watch out! <laughs> what a crash! Oh, what's wrong with Phoebe? Kids, could you tell me? How does Phoebe feel? Joyful? Fearful? Angry? Or sad? That's it. Phoebe is sad. Nice try. Oh, Phoebe must be very sad not to laugh with you. Groovy, it's okay if Phoebe's sad. Emotions aren't bad. They help us to know what we are feeling. We need to find out why Phoebe's sad. What's the matter, Phoebe? Why are you sad? Oh no, Snuggles is gone. Now we understand why Phoebe feels so sad. <laughs> Snuggles is her pet, and she loves him very much. Wait a minute, but Snuggles always leaves for a while. But you're worried because he hasn't come back yet. How long has he been gone? <laughs> Don't worry, Phoebe. We're going to help you find him. 
Phoebe, have you looked around already? And the rest of the garden? Yes, the garden is very big and Snuggles is very small. We need help to find him quickly. Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to find Snuggles? A toy truck? A helicopter? Or a slipper? Exactly! Into a helicopter! Great! are. He's stuck in the fence. Oh, so much love. How beautiful. I love stories with a happy ending. Phoebe has gone from being sad to joyful thanks to our friendship. Yay! Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> <laughs> Snuggles is having a great time. <laughs> and Groovy too!
What a beautiful day for sports. Ha, <laughs> Pops, you look great to play basketball. I just hope nobody confuses you with the ball. <laughs> Groovy! I think they want you to play with them. He says you have to go there and play with the girls. <laughs> that basketball is for boys. That's not very nice. Although that boy deserved it a little. Should we explain to everyone why what that child did is wrong? Although some sports have traditionally been considered to be for boys and others for girls, the truth is we can all play whatever sport we want, regardless of our gender. The only rule is to have fun. That's a good idea, Phoebe. Ask the girls if they'd like to play basketball, too. Pay attention, boys. Girls also want to play basketball. Let's all play a game together. All right, let's see. We need a referee. Perfect. Pops will be our referee. Great. Oh, we're missing something to whistle the fouls. Groovy, could you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to help Pops to referee the match? A mixer? A whistle? Or a crown? Yes, a whistle! All right. What a thrill, the match is about to begin. The team to make the first three baskets wins. Understood? Ball for Phoebe, who passes it to Katie. Katie to Sarah. She makes a basket. All right, girls. Eric takes it out, passes the ball to James, James to Victor, and a basket for the kids. The game is on fire. There's a tie. The girls take out. Petey has the ball and throws it. What a basket! Spectacular! The boys take out. Ball for Eric. Phoebe takes it off. Foul! Eric commits a foul! Phoebe 
now has a chance to win the game. Come on, Phoebe, you can do it. Phoebe gets ready to shoot. Moments of maximum concentration. Shoot and... Mark. The girls win the game. Bravo. how much fun it is to play boys and girls together with any sport. Oh, you've scored so much, Groovy. <laughs> Phoebe, you're a real superhero. Being a real superhero would be fun. Groovy, do you think we could play real superheroes? Super Phoebe to the rescue! And what's going to be the Super Phoebe's first mission? That's right! To help someone in need! Hmm, seems like somebody needs help. <laughs> Pops has a great idea. Let's go on an adventure. Guys? Oh, there you are. Well, don't worry, children. We'll get a new ice cream for you. There. Phoebe, you don't need powers to be a real superhero. Tree and spinach. 
cabbage, cucumber, lettuce and peas. Kids love, kids love, kids love veggies. 